Hello everybody, welcome to another adventure with Art Whisper 88. Today I am going to continue my series on collage on canvas. And I had a very helpful hint from a viewer. He had mentioned that in order to provide support for this canvas frame, I can put a book or some paper or some kind of support. So I have here some packing material which I save because uh, you know I save everything and this can be some kind of support to the back while I'm working on the canvas panel so it doesn't uh, bend so much. And it does a good job. So it's firm, but it's not, you know, it still gives a little bit. So when I do my work on it, either roller or brushing, the canvas doesn't experience too much stress. So anyway, I'm going to get started. I have here iridescent white. This is Soho acrylic. This is Payne's gray. This is Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex Basics. Now, you can use any brand of paint that you like. I'm not really uh, endorsing any one brand over another. These are just what I happen to have around the house. So, I will start with some Payne's Gray. And this is a very high contrast mixture. Because they have different values. Then a little touch of aqua green. So this is my four inch roller. As you can see, it's not that clean. And I'm not worried about it because it does provide some interesting texture when it's not that clean. it's a little since this is a canvas panel it behaves differently than a gel plate it absorbs paint so I have to add some more paint And I do the sides. I'm going to enlist the help of this little brush to help me do the sides. I'm 
the result is like this iridescent light blue. Okay, I'm just going to even, even out the roller marks, so I think the roller is what makes the image interesting. Okay. I'm going to add some marks here with my silicone brush. The uh, textures are very subtle, but they're there. And here's my sketchbook where I offload the excess paint. And these are good to keep because they can come in handy as collage material. Now, um, my next step is to use my favorite squirt bottle. And by the way, all my instruments and brushes, I have a, a, a little plastic tub of water right here. Now, I'm sorry, because my work table is so small. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but all this stuff gets placed in the tub of water so that the acrylic stays wet and I can wash it because I've had so much problems when I, I, I'm working and I'm not paying attention and my instruments start drying and it's very hard to clean it. So in order to avoid that, I just soak it immediately in a tub of water. Anyway, I will make some marks here. Let's
Okay. I, co I could have waited till the first layer dried, but I was getting a little too impatient. But I do like the effects. It's a different effect that the squirt bottle doesn't make the lines too even. So this is a little more expressive. So we'll air dry this and then I'll be right back. Okay, it's been about five minutes and I still have these very wet pools of black paint. Now I'm going to take advantage of that and use my color shaper. Actually, on the other hand, I'm, I'm going to use this instead. This is a foam brush. And I'm just going to drag this. Kind of. Create this horizontal and vertical marks. Okay. I think this will dry more evenly because when you have like a lump of very thick liquid paint it's going to create problems so I'd rather just kind of gently even it out and then this can dry more evenly Okay, this has dried very well. Now, uh, here we are at the next step of this journey. I made a very interesting discovery. Uh, I was going through my reusable stencils and I think these will make great collage material. Now these are made of plastic folder dividers, the kind that you buy in a school supply. Uh, so I cut them up. If you look at my older videos, I use these all the time for gel printing. And as you can see, I'm not too religious in washing them. And they have a lot of residue, but I think they will make great collage material. So anyway, uh, I don't use these anymore because I've kind of moved on, but I think these would look great as collage material. And this is in keeping with that mantra, reuse, reduce, recycle. And this has kind of a very mid-century modern vibe, I think. So I'm going to start with these guys and since these are made of plastic I think that Mod Podge will be perfect for them. 
because Mod Podge can handle plastic. By the way, uh, I did some research on Mod Podge and looked at the chemical composition of what it's good to know what these things are made of chemically. This is a material called PVA. Now PVA is an acronym for polyvinyl acetate. And polyvinyl acetate is a form of plastic which is used universally. It is used to make food containers, uh, a whole bunch of stuff, utensils. One thing I found amazing, uh, I know you folks are fond of cheese. I mean, who's fond of, who is not fond of cheese? And there's a kind of cheese from Holland, which is called Edam. And guess what Edam is coated with? It's coated with PVA, which means that PVA is food safe, that it's safe enough to coat cheese. And I guess if you ingest it, like the rind, it's not going to harm you. So if it's good enough to coat cheese, it's good enough for my paintings. So anyways, it, that was my little chemistry lecture. Now I will be using this straight out of the jar. I will not dilute. So I'll do the back side. And since this is not absorbent, as opposed to tissue or uh, paper. I have to keep that in mind. So since I'm gluing plastic to canvas, I'm being a little more generous with the paint, with, I'm sorry, with the glue. So I'm being very generous with the glue. And since it is a satin finish, it's going to blend right in with the uh, semi-gloss finish of the Soho acrylic paint. Now this is where the support in the back does its job because I have to press a little bit on the canvas just to ensure that there's a good contact and that the glue will stick. There we go. Okay, th this is the part that I cannot skip. 
I have to let this dry. I cannot work on this while it's wet like this. So I have to be patient. Okay, this has dried nicely. This is very exciting. Uh, now, I will add some of my tissue paper. Just to give some contrast to all this hard edge.
Okay, this has dried somewhat. It's not completely dry, but it's dry enough that I can use my squirt bottle. Guess I'm gonna call that finished. Here's a close up. I think the reusable stencil blends right in. And as you can see, there's a uh, very slight shine. It's a satin finish. That's a combination of the Mod Podge satin and the Soho acrylic, which is also a satin, satin to glossy finish. So I hope you like this interesting exercise. I had a great fun doing this and I always feel a sense of reward when I'm able to use something that otherwise would have been thrown away. It's uh, part of being resourceful as an artist and I believe that you should make use of what you have and make do if you are at a point where you you feel you lack materials you have to be a little inventive so when you're inventive it will show in your work so thank you so much for watching and subscribing please check out artwhisper88.com and I hope to see you next time.